Hello everyone and welcome to Custom Android. Today we are going to review Maximus 4.2 by Football. And this is Android 4.1.1. It's a jelly bean with Sense 4 Plus. And it's based on 1X 3.14.401.600 ROM. And because I'm coming from ice cream sandwich ROM, I needed to update my H boot to 1.28. So I will, I will repeat it. My H boot now is 1.28. And this ROM is coming with stock kernel. For now, uh, there is no custom kernel for uh, Jelly Bean with Sense 4 Plus. And this stock kernel is doing just fine. So let's take a look. Welcome to Sense 4 Plus. Still, there is no official update from HTC for 1X, and this is a le leaked version. And uh, because we have excellent developers, we have we can choose between four or five for now custom ROMs with Sense 4 Plus, and I choose to my first 4 Plus is going to be Maximus 4.2 okay let's take a look some of those widgets are are by me by third party app and the, my first impression with Sense Plus is that there is no more stuttering everything is fluid everything is pretty fluid and like you can see it's pretty fast pretty responsive it's very good and I like that those, those things with no stuttering anymore so that's it and uh, you, uh, you will ask how did manage to do it and I will show you now uh, they, they have done some modification in in home screen and like you can see there is no more uh, 3D okay uh, there is some 3D but uh, the images are now more flatted like you can see you see this this, this number one there is some 3D but the, the images you see are some kind of flatted but okay I don't mind I just want to my operating system be fluid and like you can see it's working perfect that's it and uh, this ROM this custom ROM is coming with a ROM installer so can, you can choose what app you will install or what app you will not install and uh, okay here in notification bar now we have power saver and it's okay but the thing that is annoying me is that I cannot remove it by default so it's here all the time and when you enter power saver you see you can turn it off turn it on and it, it will save your battery uh, and uh, when your battery reach 10% and, it, and it's coming below 10% uh, power saver is turned on by default and that's it uh, if you want to remove it from notification bar you can do it by third party, part, party app you can install auto start app or you can install Gemini app manager and you can remove it and also if you want uh, toggles you can install uh, extended settings app from the market and uh, you will have it that's it and uh, another another thing that is coming with uh, 4.1.1 jelly bean with sense 4 plus is uh, that there is no more uh, mass storage yes you hear it right now we have MTP which stands for media transfer protocol so uh, it ha it have good thing and bad things and uh, the good thing is uh, with MTP 
there uh, there is no possibility so you cannot uh, damage your file system like uh, when you when you plug your your uh, HTC One X in your computer and uh, when you unplug your cable uh, before you unplug it in option there is a chance that you can uh, damage your your file system on phone and some files and media files and now with MTP media a media transfer protocol uh, it's th there is no chance to, to, to do it but uh, the bad thing is uh, that now you don't have full access to your storage and also you cannot uh, plug in in your car radio and play music from it but okay uh, there is option you can do it from recovery from clockwork clockwork mode and uh, another thing which is new is uh, USB on to go support what what does it mean uh, th there is option now you can you can voice dial from your uh, Bluetooth handset and uh, also you can you can uh, uh, plug plug in your mouse or keyboard on your phone and use it also you can uh, you can uh, plug in uh, another media st another storage device like USB stick and uh, load your files from it and uh, that's it Th this widget down there is a uh, is a third party app I have installed also this one and uh, this CPU monitor and also battery monitor which I have installed uh, is for testing uh, temperatures and I have tested my temperatures battery temperature and uh, CPU temperature and it's very good uh, my battery temperature after playing uh, games for a few hours uh, didn't reach above uh, 47 degrees Celsius which is uh, pretty good so your phone is not overheat hitting overheating with with this custom ROM and uh, with uh, Jelly Bean with Sense 4 Plus and uh, okay let's take a look here okay now now the, the, the some, some uh, problems that comes with, with with new custom ROM is uh, touch sound there is some problems with touch sound I don't know can you hear it but uh, when you press it now it's doing okay but on some on some applications and on some moments you will hear uh, a double touch sound like here in, uh, when you when I press settings you see it's it's a double sound so this is okay and here is double sound but uh, you can you can turn it off your touch sound and everything will be okay also some people uh, noticed that when they play music and uh, also tapping their screen uh, uh, sometimes they have problem with with uh, fluid playing music and like like I said you can turn it off okay this this is settings and okay when I'm here I will show you software information so like you can see it's 4 plus sense with 4.1.1 Android and okay let's take a look here in power you see new battery look and also here in history now let's comment our Wi-Fi uh, there is also with this ba ROM based version there is a problem with Wi-Fi when your phone goes to deep sleep the Wi-Fi sometimes not every time but sometimes turning off and uh, about the battery you see I'm one day and ten hours on battery and there is still 45 percent so battery is rock solid it's it's my personal opinion that the battery is very good okay that's it and okay let's take let's take a look at benchmark scores first on total benchmark 
So here is the score. 12 to 1 2. And uh, let's take a look at quadrant score. Okay, when we are here, this is a new gallery. You have my phone, Dropbox, Facebook, Picasso, SkyDrive. And uh, this is this is a gallery. It's arranged by events. It's a uh, date decreasing. You can also arrange it to be album look. And okay, here is quadrant standard score. It's six five two one. Okay. That's it. Also, when you press your power button, here is the uh, options, and uh, you can you can edit more by installing third-party app like Advanced Power Menu for HTC One X uh, by Jota. You will, you can find it on uh, XDA developer site site forum. So. That's it, and only I missed something. Okay, let's take a look at. Uh... Okay, this is a camera. Here are the settings. And the camera ca camera is working. Okay. No problem. Multi shot is also doing. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's that's my review. Okay guys, thank you for watching it and I hope We'll see you next time in our next ROM review. Bye bye.